Okay, so we just use the user module, but what does that actually mean? So in Ansible, it's split up into modules, and we've just used the user module, which is effectively, uh, in the case of Ansible, it's going to be a piece of code written in Python that uses that manages system users for us. So if we look at the documentation here, we can see manage user accounts and user attributes. For Windows targets, use Win user module instead. So this one's specific to Linux and, and the kind of Unix likes. And then we have a, a group of parameters. Now the dash A flag was what we used in order to provide these parameters. And as you can see, there's there's quite a few of them. Create home, whether it, whether it expires, when it expires, forcefully create the user, generate an SSH key. Uh, there's, there's, there's quite a bit, there's, there's quite a few. And if we, if we go to the examples down here, we can actually get a good idea of how to use the module in a playbook. There are no examples here for using them as an ad hoc command. But any of these things here under the user module will go into playbooks, don't worry. Under the user module, we've got these parameters here. They're effectively the parameters you would use on the command line, but you just do name equals James18 shell equals slash bin slash ZSH and so on and so forth. So that is effectively the documentation for the user module. And there are hundreds of modules, if not thousands of modules. And so you should go and check this out, give it a read and then maybe have a little experiment as well.